What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, California Cardio Confessions. Look at this shit. Costa Mesa, beautiful area. Anyway, I'm just going for a morning cardio walk. Um, thought I'd do my cardio confessions, and <clears throat> last night was an epic event with Mike Rasheed, my man Sean Torbati at Max Muscle Huntington Beach. What an amazing event, great turnout. Man, I'm gonna try and get some pictures up here. It was just fantastic, met some great people. Sampled out some cookies of cream whey, hung out, talked. I'm gonna train with my man Mike today and Sean do some back. Man, I love coming back to Cali. I would never move back here, but being that my man Sean's out here and I got business out here, I always have a reason to um, come here and you know basically visit my old stomping grounds, man. Even though I didn't live in this area, you know I did. Uh, I did have my little time in the beach area. Anyway, check it out. So. I want to address something. Get a lot of emails from guys between the age of like 15 and 25. Like, what's my potential in bodybuilding? Should I compete? Do I have what it takes to compete? And um, here's the deal. Everybody has the fucking chance to compete. This one guy even asked me, he said, you know, what does it take to be an amateur bodybuilder? I said about 200 bucks. You got to get the uh, fucking NPC card or the OCB card or the NBF card. Pay for the poly if it's a natural show. And then you gotta pay for the show, but at the end of the day, dude, it's fucking free. It's anybody can compete. That's why you see a bunch of really bad fucking competitors on stage. There's no cost of entry. There's no fucking, you know, there's no, uh, okay, you have to be this to compete. No, no, no. You just have to be breathing and have money to compete. That's all it takes. But as far as potential, who gives a fuck? I mean, it's all subjective. You're not gonna be the next Phil Heath, most likely. But what you can do is you can be the best you you can be. Now, when I started competing, I looked a certain way, but I improved over the years and I became a better version of myself. And the thing is, you want to become a better version of yourself. If you can do that, you've truly won. And that's the problem. Don't look at it like, well, I beat this person. Look at it like, well, I be a better me than I was before. And I think that's where a lot of people get it twisted in that they think that they have to win. Winning is relative. It's all about actually just being the best you can be and bringing the best package you can bring and bettering yourself between show and show. And I think this life's taking for fucking ever. I'm getting impatient. So, I mean, that's the thing is that you want to make sure that you <clears throat> improve yourself. It doesn't matter if you win. It doesn't matter if you lose. I mean, what matters is that you improved yourself and you became a better version of yourself and you really brought it and you pushed yourself to the limits. It's not about if you win. It's not about if you lose. It's about that you actually did something that improved yourself and made you a better person, and made you a better competitor, and made you, um, you know, more steadfast on being the best you you can be. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, emails, I'm just gonna answer it exactly that way, but in less words, in that it's not about winning and it's not about losing. It's about improving yourself, and pushing yourself, and bringing a better version of yourself every time you get on that stage. And that's what it comes down to. So. The next time you uh, think to yourself, hey, do I have what it takes to compete? <clears throat> Go to a show. You'll see some really fucking ugly physiques. See some really fucking fat people on stage who somebody lied to and said they should compete. But they can compete. The question, do you have what it takes to turn pro? Shit, when I started, <clears throat> everybody said I didn't have what it takes to turn pro. And uh, now I'm a pro. So, I mean, you can always buck that trend. Thing is, if you keep improving every day, you don't know what your limits are. You don't know. Don't, don't set artificial limits on yourself. Make sure that you push yourself to be all you can be. That's really all I can say. As for today, I pretty much working. There's Starbucks right there. I'm gonna go pick up a coffee. Um, do my thing with Sean. We got a couple meetings. Train with my man, Mike Rasheed. Um, Really, just uh, getting out there, getting it done, getting some office work done today, this morning, after I pick up this coffee. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. And also remember, machine uptake, our probiotic is in stock. No baked cookies ready to rock. And I'm ready to roll. I'm just gonna and that's not a guys. game. It's not a game. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs>